Are you looking for educational science projects for your kids to do? Christmas just happened and Santa brought our son this right here. It's the National Geographic Dino Fossil Dig Kit. We did it today. I want to tell you guys all about the experience that we had with it and uh, what came inside the box. First of all, hi. Hi to all the new dads out there. This is Dad Reviews. This is where I give you my unedited, hopefully more authentic look at the products that we like, use, and have and get as Christmas gifts. So if you're interested in that, you might want to consider clicking that subscribe button. So like I said, uh, my son got this. It's the National Geographic uh, Dino Dig Kit and it comes, you open it up, and uh, there's, first of all, there's three different fossil specimens that you'll get uh, in each box. This one contains uh, the dino poop, the mosasaur tooth, and a dino bone, which I thought was pretty cool. Um, I like giving our kids some kind of educational toy, and they actually had a ton of fun. Both my daughter and my son had a ton of fun doing uh, this project together. So. Uh, it comes with this little like egg carton tray. I was like, oh, this is perfect. They can actually do the project in this tray right here. So give, they give you a little instruction booklet here and they tell you, you know, how you do it basically. Uh, the premise is basically use the tools that they give you and be careful not to break anything. And so uh, we did that. And then there's also a learning guide on here as well. So you can actually, uh, they can actually, as they pull things out, learn about the dinosaurs and about the fossils that they get and all that type of stuff. If you guys want to pause the video and read any of this, you guys can do that so you can get a better idea of like what kind of things they're, they're trying to teach you. Um, but it was a good little, uh, good little resource to be able to give some uh, education to your kids. And also there's a notes thing right here. Just to give you guys an aside away from this project is um, another way that we try to teach our kids about like science and paleontologists and excavating things is we'll take a Tupperware, fill it with toys and put water in it and freeze it. And then the next day they have to excavate their toys out of the ice. So another kind of alternative to this if you don't want to get this. But if you do want to get this, I'm gonna link it up down in the description below. Go read other people's reviews about it though. Don't just take my word for it. I'm just one guy checking it out for the first time from a dad's perspective. But uh, the tools that it came with, this was cool. It came with a little magnifying glass. So if as you're digging in through the, the fossil or the stone, I guess, uh, you can look at it and kind of see, you know, where you need a chisel next and whatnot. Uh, that does come with a little chisel. It's a double in one. This is like a flat head one right there, like a flat screwdriver style. And then they have this uh, other side right here, which is a little bit more rigid. So if you need to kind of scratch some things away, you can do that there. It also comes with this little brush, like a little fossil brush to where you can uh, get some of the dust away. I want to say whenever my son and my daughter were going through the fossil and they were like, you know, scraping off little bits here and there to try and get it. At one point, my daughter decided to blow some of the dust and it like came back up into her eye. And so we had to flush her eye out with water and whatnot. So if you do decide to get this, make sure to tell your kids not to blow on it because it's going to get back into their eyes, going to come back to their eyes. So we've actually already excavated this. And uh, the piece that comes in there, it's like this rock looking thing and it's got a picture of a dinosaur on it and it's all three dimensional and whatnot. So they actually get their tools in there and then uh, once they start finding things, we found the, the three different things. One, the tooth actually broke on us. That's how delicate, it says in this instruction book too, make sure to be careful with it because it is gonna be fragile. Uh, unfortunately, they did break the tooth, but this is the tooth that came up out of here. It did have a nice point to it whenever it first came out, so it was a lot larger than I expected, actually. But I thought that this was a cool fossil for them to get. And then the next one was uh, a piece of the bone here. They actually didn't put it in the... You, another way you can kind of clean it up is to put it in water and stir it around uh, so that it gets all of the, all of the rock off there. But uh, this is a piece of the bone right there that came with the fossil and uh, they didn't quite get all of the, the stuff right here on the side off. So they still have a little bit of work here to do. Uh, and then the last thing is the dinosaur poop. I'm assuming this is the poop. It looks like the poop. But um, again, they didn't quite get everything off. I guess after about like an hour or so, um, they kind of got tired of doing it. They may come back, I would assume, and do a little bit more. Uh, you know, it is a very a tedious thing. In fact, in the in the instructions here, it does say that patience is your friend. So patience is key so as not to damage the fragile specimens. So whenever you go to tell your kids that, if you read the instructions, 
uh, you know, it, it kind of puts them in a mindset like, okay, this might take a little while, so they'll actually do the activity a little bit longer, which is always great for us parents out there. So you can, you know, get some dishes done or some laundry done or do something else or just have some nice quiet time. That was a nice thing about this project is that they were so focused on like being very detailed with the fossil that they, they were actually quite quiet until they like they found something. They were like, oh, we found the tooth or whatever, you know, so then they got excited about it, which was fun. But it, it took them a good while to, to do the excavation. I would say, like I said, I think it was about an hour or so that they spent uh, on the particular project. They didn't go and like, you know, slam it down or anything like some kids are probably going to do. They actually took the chisels and took their time to, to get in there and like figure out exactly where the thing was. Uh, so that was a great uh, thing. The other thing that they say is that you can put it in water if it does, if it is a little tough to break up, uh, put it with some water and that'll help soften the material a little bit so that they can excavate it a little bit more. Like I said, if you guys want to check this thing out, I'm going to link it up down in the description below. Y'all go read other people's reviews about it. Don't just take my word for it. I think it's a great educational tool that you can use with your kids. If you guys want to see some of the other educational products that I've done on this channel, I'm going to link those up right here. Y'all go, actually, there's this cool science kit that teaches your kids about electricity. I'm going to link that up right there. That was a really fun one that our kids really liked. And uh, I'm going to recommend that one to you guys. So go click that video. I'll see y'all in that video. Thank you, dads, for watching. That thumbs up is always appreciated. Appreciated and dad out.